And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's yours truly, Catching and Jamal, on your dial, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about the youth perspective, where we shine the light on the youth of our nation, ladies and gentlemen. You're locked in at 1540 AM, 104.5 FM, the national voice of the Bahamas, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited uh, for this episode. It's not very common uh, where we get to interview persons uh that are doing unique things all right and so uh, we love to kind of go out of the box and bring you some interviews that you quite haven't heard uh some different topics and so uh we're back again with another great show so i want you to sit back relax and get ready for the show it's going to be a great one uh, we have joining us uh on this edition of the youth perspective the one and only mr tyler gordon all right and he's the vice president of events and uh, tonight We'll be talking to him all the way from the Bahamas Esports Federation. Uh, good evening, sir. How you How you doing? Welcome to the Perspective. Good evening. Good evening. I'm good. How are you doing? I am doing very well. It's always great uh, when I get to connect with my good friends over there at the Bahamas Esports Federation. And uh, I'm telling you, when I was growing up, I wasn't much of a sports fan. Now, if we had esports, um, I think I would have been a top athlete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's pretty much why we do it, right? Every right. every gamer kid in the Bahamas, uh, you know, our age, the older ones especially, um, their parents are like, "Oh, get a real hobby, get off this game, stop, you know, playing games, and go do something constructive." And now they see, you know, sixteen year old kids winning three million dollars playing Fortnite, and the tune changed completely. So yeah, that's yeah, something yeah. we're trying to bring over here. Yeah. Yeah. So let's so so before we get too deep, because you know that I always like to get to that part of the conversation. But before we get into that, uh, the Bahamas Esports Federation. Many persons may not be uh, aware of the existence, aware of what it is you guys do. Uh, so let's let's start off there. Uh, what is the Bahamas Esports Federation? Um, the Bahamas Esports Federation is basically the national governing body for esports. Um, so we try to facilitate esports and regulate esports in the best way possible um, to just create a fair and open ecosystem for esports to grow and flourish. Uh, we, we send players off to compete internationally. Um, we, you know, try to facilitate community events and uh, we just had uh, an event in Bain and Grantstown where we ran an NBA 2K tournament um you know free entry and all that good stuff so our job is basically to spread awareness of esports you know regulate the existing esports industry and help it grow and create a a long lasting esports industry where anyone of any you know socioeconomic status gender um ability or anything like that can come out and enjoy themselves connect with people and have a path to pro if that's something that they want to do right and so and, and of course it's not just for persons who want to go pro casual gamers i guess gamers who are maybe a little bit more intermediate uh for but for all ages pretty much and all skill levels. all ages all genders all yeah. skill levels um you know even if you want to just spectate mm -hmm. there's you know things that you can do um to participate in the esports ecosystem you know, someone might enjoy being a commentator, for example, mm. um, you know, talking about their favorite games, making jokes about their favorite games, and they might not have the skill level themselves, but they're entertaining enough to be able to put on a show. And that's a vital part of the industry as well. So, you know, if you may not be as good playing, but you enjoy the games and the, the lore behind it, you know, you might be a commentator, you might be um, someone who organizes tournaments, you might be someone who does social media marketing, et cetera. All of these things come together to form the entire industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And so let's talk about uh, some of the moving uh, and shaking and, and everything that's been happening uh, so far for the Bahamas Esports Federation. Can you talk about uh, uh, some of the players, uh, if you may have that information on you, and, and some of the movements that they've been making uh, this year so far? Yeah, um, so the standout player for me would probably be um, Jonathan Lucius. Um, his gamer tag is Lucius, but he recently competed for us in Romania um, in an international esports tournament. Uh, he plays Tekken, he made it out of group stages, and unfortunately he lost his first opponent, but that opponent then went on to place third in the entire tournament. So, wow. um, you know, we're very proud of him and the work that he's done. Um, there's also 
a player named Monoko who um, competed for us internationally in Street Fighter. Um, and unfortunately, he wasn't able to make it out of his stage due to internet issues and that sort of stuff. But um, these things are, you know, things that we're working on. So especially in the fighting game community, we have a pretty robust player base. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to things like um, first person shooters, there's a very good um, Call of Duty and Valorant player named Dr. Noel. Mm. Um, and he, you know, he places consistently at the top, at the highest ranks in pretty much any first person shooter game that he plays. So um, like I said, like I tell people, there's a wealth of talent, undiscovered talent in the Bahamas when it comes to esports. And so our job here at the esports, at the Bahamas Esports Federation is basically to just um, get them as much exposure as possible, you know, facilitate their growth as much as possible and, and send them out into the world to do great things. Yeah, yeah. And and, and just to, to make sure we clarify for the uh, listening audience, uh, these persons that you mentioned, they are Bahamians, right? Yes, they're all Bahamians. Wow, wow, wow. That, that's that's tremendous. And you know, you know when I and I knew uh, that esports had really kind of grew and it, and it really had went to a different stratosphere. Uh, when I left my college a few years after, I just, you know, decided to go, you know, on the website and, you know, see what was going on. And uh, they opened up a whole, you know, esports degree uh, at the college, mm, yeah. <laughs> you know. And, and, you know, I was looking at the, you know, the, 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 the residential spaces they had and, you know, the, the souped up computers and, you know, they got the uniforms and all this stuff. And I'm like, what? When did this happen? Like, when, when did the college uh, get into esports? And then fast forward. Um, you mentioned it at the beginning where we talk about uh, gamers, professional gamers, you know, winning millions of dollars uh, while um, still maybe being in their 20s or something like that. Maybe some a little bit younger. And so we've seen that jump. We've seen that leap. Uh, what do you think has attributed to that jump? Like, you know, just something as like a pastime, but now something that persons could actually do full time. Um, I'd say the biggest motivating factor is the increasing digitization of the world mm. um so basically everything is moving online increasingly you know payments shopping um entertainment streaming services for example everything is moving online over the internet and so naturally sports competition um follow suit and the way that manifests is in video games right. and competitive video games have been around for a pretty long time i want to say the first quote unquote esports tournament was in the 80s i want to say mm. um someone won like a lamborghini or a ferrari from a quake tournament or something like that wow um it really started to pick up steam in the early 2000s um yeah. with grassroots tournaments but yeah. you know in the past decade or so um with online play becoming much more um much more home based i guess um you know anyone can just pick up a console and play against people and compete and all that sort of stuff so that really led to you know a rapid growth in the industry and i feel like we're still at a point where um things are just starting to take off because like you say um you know you go to college websites now and there's esports degrees, right? Yeah. Um, I think in the past year or so, there have been probably about $20 million in scholarships awarded for esports degrees uh -huh. across in the United States, um, across, I want to say about 500 colleges. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a thing that's really creating a pipeline for, for young kids to create an entire career out of yeah. and this is something that we're really trying to push for at the at the bahamas esports federation as well mm -hmm. um you know we want to start kids ideally from about middle school and train them in the esports arena yeah. and develop skills just like regular sports and traditional sports do um so that when they are college age they have you know an additional selling point on their resume Mm -hmm. um when they graduate college they have an additional selling point on their um you know job op job application and that sort of stuff so yeah. um it can really benefit them a lot in skills that are necessary for the game but also translate to other areas outside of the game yeah yeah and you know to i think to add uh as well um i think you know when we look 
at uh, you know websites like YouTube. You know, we're looking at um, uh, websites where you can go live, right? And you can have a community and build a community uh, around what you're doing. Um, I think that has really changed the game as well because um, once you have a community, I mean, you know, you could you could you could do anything, and uh, if those persons are willing to to give and, and help you monetize what it is that you're doing, I mean, it really helps you to be able to, you know, kind of you know, kind of make it happen, you know, on your own just yeah. by, you know, because I mean, I watch my son, my son is six. You know, and I watch him mm-hmm. on YouTube watching other people play Roblox, you know, so uh, yeah, and absolutely. stuff like that. And so and that's another thing, too, like with the with the social media age, everyone is so much more connected mm-hmm. on an individual level. And that yeah. really, like you say, YouTube started it off. Um, but for gaming, we have Twitch. Twitch, yeah. So, you know, for Twitch streamers, for example, it's a lot easier for them to build a name, build a brand for themselves, even if they aren't, you know, the best in the world. Yeah. Like I say, they can be entertaining and they can still make money and create a following off of that. And I've even seen sometimes where, um, you know, if a streamer is good enough, then that network allows them leverage to join professional teams or professional organizations and get the boost that they need or the salary that they need yeah. um, to take things to the next level. So. You know, there's a lot of different avenues that you can go down when it comes to esports, and that's one thing that we're trying to do at the BESF. We're trying to create as many different avenues as possible and do dip our fingers in, you know, pretty much everything. Yeah, and I'll tell you no lie. I, I think uh, Twitch streamers are some of the coolest. I, I mean, just you know, look at the, the emotes and you know, seeing how the alerts come in and uh, you know, seeing the the kind of audience that you could build. I mean, persons from all around the world. Um, can gravitate to what you bring um, as a Bahamian um, on your island and you're, you're making content, you're making, you're playing a game that they're interested in and they find you and then they follow you. I mean, it's really a beautiful thing that you can do in this day and age that, you know, couldn't be done, you know, 10 or 15 years, you know, back. And so uh, young persons listening in, I mean, it's the perfect time to really gravitate uh, to what is happening because, you could really be able to do some things much younger than we could, you know, growing up. And you have a whole lot of you have access to the world uh, via the Internet and online um, communities as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, leverage that social media, leverage your Twitch stream, be consistent, create your YouTube videos and just put yourself out there because you never know. Like, especially if you have the passion for it, as long as you stay consistent do the work put in the effort eventually it's going to pay off you know it might not be today it might not be tomorrow but if you're having fun with it then it doesn't really matter how long it takes right because at the end of the day the reward is the effort that you're putting in everything else is pretty much secondary so yeah yeah you're right and so listen i know persons listening in they want to know how they can find the bahamas esports federation also how they can join um, how they can see the matches and everything that's going on and so let's bring us up to speed on how we can uh, go about following and being a part of the bahamas esports federation yeah so everything that you would need is on our website which is Mm besf242.org and from there you can join the discord that we have um bahamas gamers and otaku which has a few thousand Bahamian members, I want to say probably about 2000. Um, But on social media, we are at BESF242. um, And I'm pretty sure that's Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Mm -hmm. And so whenever we have matches, um, we can, we upload the videos to YouTube. So it's kind of like our archive. Mm -hmm. Um, Twitch is BESF242 also. Uh, oh no i'm sorry twitch is uh at besf okay. so no 242 mm-hmm. um and yeah if you want to join if you want to you know participate if you want to volunteer there's a form on our website which is again besf242.org um you can fill out that form you can say what area you're interested in what your skills are um you know how you see yourself helping us out and someone will get back to you and you know contact you and sort of let you know, you know, what we need from you, et cetera. So mm-hmm. those are the best ways to find us for sure. Definitely, definitely. And uh, is there anything coming up 
uh, in this year or next year? Anything that you want to mention uh, that we should get ourselves ready and prepared for? Um, we have a couple very big things in the works that I cannot speak on right now. Sure. Um, but we're working on creating more consistent events. Um, we want to have something every month. Okay. So, you know, follow us on all the socials. Be sure to tap in before January for sure. Okay. Um, and, you know, we will announce and release things as we're able to. Um you know, we don't. I don't want to. I don't want to tip anyone's hat too early and Definitely raise right. too much excitement. But right. there are some very, very big things in the works. Oh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> yes, and, uh, I, I wish I could speak on it, but my president would have my head. We we're gonna have you back. We're gonna have you back. Oh, we love the pre president back. Oh, whichever one, and uh, he could uh, let us know what's what's going on. But the time is right. When the time is right, absolutely, yeah, definitely. And so, for those listening in, um, mention again the games. Um, well, I know there's probably a lot of games, but maybe let's say maybe top five, top six games uh, that persons uh, in the Bahamas Esports Federation are playing. Um, maybe some of the consoles as well. And so persons listening in would know, OK, what games are you guys playing? What games do I need to get into if I'm not as well? Like the top games. Um, so we, like I said, we try to facilitate everything. So whether you're on PC or PlayStation or even Xbox, um, we, you know, we have something for you. Uh, all of the biggest esports titles, the international competitive titles, we um, give priority to. Okay. So games like League of Legends, Valorant, Call of Duty, um, Tekken and Street Fighter, etc. Um, those would probably be the biggest games that we pay the most attention to. But okay. like I said, there's, you know, we try to facilitate everything. So even if you are a fan of smaller games like Brawlhalla and Mario Kart, um, mm -hmm. you know, we'll have something for you as well. But um, <laughs> for the biggest games, I would say League of Legends, Super Smash Brothers, Street Fighter 6, Tekken, mm -hmm. um, Valorant, Call of Duty, um, Fortnite, mm -hmm. uh, and surprisingly NBA 2K. Um, you know, we're wow. working on getting a lot of a lot more 2K, a lot more competitive 2K experiences yeah. um, locally, especially for the kids and, mm -hmm. um, you know, the people who are not really as competitive esports driven, yeah. but still would like to compete and show off their skills and everything. So, yeah, that, that 2K community is pretty big. <laughs> it definitely is. Yeah. But. It's 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 a give and take because yeah. you know while the community is big, mm -hmm. not many people who play two K are fully aware of the extent of esports, right? Yeah, like they know yeah. there might be some tournaments and all that sort of stuff, but mm -hmm. um, they might not be aware. Like, okay, esports is an industry where you can you know make a full time living off of. Yeah. So you know we're trying to bridge a lot of gaps here, especially in the Bahamas. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we well that's why we invited you guys on, uh, you know, to give you a, a platform to be able to share it, and uh, we love uh, to be able to share uh, what's going on, uh, what young people are into, uh, what we think that they should get into, uh, and we definitely think that these sports is uh, definitely here, and uh, it's only getting bigger as time continues to go, as technology uh, continues to evolve. I mean, there's no telling where it's gonna be. In the next five to ten years, uh, colleges got degrees now, and so <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see what what happens next. Um, now we are running quickly out of time. I just looked up at our time just now, and so uh, before we let you go, um, is there any closing comments you want to leave? Any shout outs? Anything you want to mention before we get ready to wrap up? Um, I would like to send a shout out to our president, President Michael Armagon. Um, more cookies, you know, he's put in a lot of work over the past four or five years to get us to where we are today definitely um but closing comments i just want to say you know if you are interested in esports in any capacity please reach out to us um you know we're more than willing to answer your questions you know talk to your parents help you out in any way we can um if you want to you know play games if you want to stream if you want to commentate if you want to help run tournaments there's there's a space for everyone um in esports so you know keep following your dreams don't let anyone tell you oh it's just a hobby oh this won't get you anywhere or anything like that because you never know like that might be the thing on the resume on your resume or your college application that sets you apart and you know changes your life so you know just just keep at it mm -hmm. 
Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, well, we thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, this evening. It's been a pleasure uh, to have you on. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, we want to encourage you to make sure go on out, uh, make sure look up the Bahamas Esports Federation, join them on all social medias. Of course, make sure to get a part of the Discord. Uh, if you don't know what Discord is, that's fine. Jump in and, uh, you know, look up some tutorials on YouTube and <laughs> figure out how to use it and get in there. Uh, there's a lot of action. And, of course, there's a lot of behemoths that's doing some incredible things uh, in the esports community. And you want to be able to know uh, what's going on. We're going to be featuring more of them as we go into this year and if we go into the years to come. And so we're going to make sure have them on as well. And so, sir, we thank you once again for joining us. And we look forward to doing this again real soon. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Yes, sir, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of Tyler Gordon, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, uh, he is uh, from the Bahamas Esports Federation. And, of course, he's in charge of their events, ladies and gentlemen, the vice president, rather, of events. And uh, he's going to be back to tell us more. Uh, and, of course, the entire team. All right. And so we thank you so much for joining us on this edition of The U Perspective. Have a great evening. You're surely Cash and Jamal. We'll see you on the next one. This is The Youth Perspective. Good evening.